Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this perfect picture collage and insert some text over an image. So the first thing we need to do is to insert our images. So if we go to insert, go to pictures, click on the drop down, and you can select from any of these, you'll probably want to select your own pictures from your files, but I'm just going to choose some stock images. So I'm gonna go over to the side here and I'm just going to type in models, press enter. And then I'm just going to select from a number of these images. I'm gonna select this one, holding down my command or control key. I'm going to click on this one, this one. I have a few portrait ones. Now we may not use all of these, but just to give us a few options and then just press insert. So as you can see, all of our images have been inserted, but obviously they're on every page and they're quite large. So what we need to do is to first select our images and we need to change the wrapping because at the moment you can't move these images. They just clip back into the same place. So let's right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. And you can see some images start to disappear because they're starting to go behind each other. Just move them out of the way, right click on each one, wrap text, go to in front of text. Okay, so now we've got all of our images onto one page. What we now need to decide is how tall we want these images in their height and which ones we want down at the bottom. So what we can do is select a size of roughly about five centimeters. So if we select this image here, make sure we're on picture format and go over to this section here that says height. Just click and select it, press five, five centimeters and press enter. And that photograph now is five centimeters tall. In the same way, select this image, go back and do exactly the same through all of your images, except for that one that you want to keep at the bottom. So I'm gonna keep this image at the bottom here, and I'm just going to move these around to figure out where I want them. So perhaps we'll have a lighter one in this section over here, darker one over here. Let's have a slightly darker one up here. I'm gonna move these. Okay, so this one hasn't been done. So you'll soon find out if you've missed one because it won't move. There we go. So I'm gonna put this one here. Don't worry too much about the spacing. We'll come back to that at the end. And we can maybe choose now, if you're really desperate to get these photographs on and one of them just doesn't seem to fit, what you can do is you can actually use the crop tool. So if I select this photo here, go to picture format and go along to crop and click. Now, as you can see, I've got these black markers. So I'm going to crop the width of this. So I'm just going to move that across and this across as well, and then just press enter and your image is still at five centimeters high, but it now allows you to move other images in. So I'm gonna get rid of these two images because I don't need them. And what I am going to do now, I'm just going to make sure that these are all aligned. So I have to decide on the distance I want my images from the edge of my page. Now, some printers will print borderless and you can print and you can push them right up to the edges but most printers don't, so I would give yourself a bit of a white board around the outside. So I've gone for this distance here, and again, I'm gonna roughly go for that distance on the other side. And then I'm gonna sort of move that one in between, but don't worry too much about it. I'll then select this image here by holding my, down my command or control key. Holding down my command or control key, I select this one as well. So I've now selected all three images. I now go up to align, click on the drop down and go to distribute horizontally. That will mean there's an equal gap between these images. Then go to align, align to top, and it means they'll all be lined up to the top here. Now, if you want to, we can now go and group them, select the group and then click on group. That means they're now all grouped together and they can't be individually moved. If you want to go make some changes, simply go back up to group, click on the drop down and select ungroup. 
So now I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to make sure this image here is roughly lined up with the edge of this one and give myself roughly the same gap. And again, I'm going to move this one over as well. There we go. And then I'm going to select all three. So holding my, down my command or control key, click on all three images. Again, go to align and then distribute horizontally. And again, we've got the same gap. Now, if you think this gap is a bit too wide because the gaps up here are smaller, then all you need to do is just move this image over. And then with the crop tool, you can simply select this image again, go to crop, and you can see your image hasn't disappeared. The, the cropped section of your image hasn't disappeared. We just move this out slightly. And again here, keeping him in the middle, just press enter, move this image over a little bit. And once again, select all three images, go to align, click on the drop down, go down to distribute horizontally, and you'll see those gaps have reduced. Again, let's go up to align and go to align to top, make sure they're all lined up across the top. And then we can go to group and select group. Now, once we've done that, we can go down to the bottom image and we can fill in this space below. Now, again, it all comes down to aspect ratio. And we want to make this image as wide as these images here. But you can see we've got a gap at the bottom. There's two ways we can solve this. We can cut a bit off, so select it, go to the crop tool, move this in a little bit, maybe to about there, press enter, and then you can stretch this image out a little bit more. Alternatively, you can just simply move the image down and then you can move this group and this group. Just hold down the command or control key to select both groups. Then you can just use your arrow keys to move these groups down. So I'm gonna keep mine roughly there and then I'll just move this up slightly. There we go. That gap at the bottom there is a bit bigger than the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select everything. So select this image, select this group here, this group here, remember holding down that Alt Option key. I'm just gonna use my arrow key. There we go. And deselect all. Then you can see that gap is a little more even. Now, if we want to put some text on here, go to Insert, Text Box, click on the drop down, and select Draw Text Box. Click and drag out a text box. And then we will just type in perfect picture collage. And if I deselect this, you can't really see it, but there is a black border around this text box and obviously a white background. I'm going to get rid of both of those. So select it and go to shape format, go to shape fill and select no fill, go to shape outline and select no outline. Now we are going to put another outline around this text, but I think it's a little bit more flexible if we use a shape. So I'm just going to make sure that this text box is selected because I'm going to customize the text. I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to go to the font color here, click on the drop down and select white. Then I'm going to use my increase font size tool here. Roughly to about there. I'm going to reduce the size of my text box. And then I'm going to go to insert shapes, click on the drop down and select the rectangle, click and drag out a rectangle. Now again, this has a borderline around it and a fill color. So select it, go to shape format, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill, go to shape outline, select white, click on the drop down again, go to weight, and then I'm going to go down to four. And if I deselect that, you can see we've now got a nice frame. I'm just going to reduce the size of that and then I'm going to pop it over the top of my text box. Now what you will find is once you've put this over the top of your text box, you can't grab this text. So one way to solve that is to select this box, go to shape format and go to send backwards and just click on the drop down and select send back. Now you can see when I select the text, you can actually select it and move it round. 
So to make sure this is in the center, we can select it, go to home, go to the center text icon. Then we can select both the text and the outer box by holding down the command or control key. Go to shape format, go to align, down to align to center, align, align to middle. Then when I deselect, you can see that's perfectly centered. You can put a slight transparency in this box. So select it, go to shape format, and go all the way over to format pane and click. And you'll see here that we've got format shape. Go down to the bucket icon, go down to solid fill. You can see it's turned black because our color here is black. Click on the drop down and select white and then use this transparency slider, go all the way over to 100% and then slightly drag it back until you get that transparency you want. Deselect it, have a look at your design, see if you're happy. If you are, you can group them together, select this one, the text, hold down the command or control key and select the outer shape. Go to group, select group, click on the group icon and now you can move this as one element. Place it where you want and that's you done. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.